Tommy, it must be great to be back on tour after almost missing a year with, uh, with shoulder injury. Um, what did you miss most about being away? Well, just competing, obviously, being out there, trying to win matches. Uh, you know, it gives you great satisfaction. Um, going out there, trying to, to, to accomplish something again, trying to win matches. You know, it's been a long time. It's rough, you know, at the certain uh, time that I'm in, in my life, uh, physically as well, to try to get to a certain level again. Um, but again, you know, I enjoy playing tennis, I enjoy competing, and just to be out there um, is a privilege. And uh, yeah, it, it's exciting to see what else uh, I could possibly achieve. At 37, was this comeback any more difficult, any more daunting than uh, any of the others? Absolutely, yeah. It gets tougher and tougher, no question about it. Um, also, when you have a family and, uh, you know, the, my daughter is now growing up and, um, you know, we can communicate uh, much better than when she's, you know, young, a bit young baby and all these things. So it's very, very hard to be that dedicated. But uh, like I said, I think this is my profession, this is my job, it's something that I still um, have in my mind that I want to achieve something. and. Also, that I have my mind, I want to stop playing this tennis when, when I feel like it's the right time and not because of an injury. Do you think you could play on into 2016? Um, that's the goal. You know, I mean, obviously I can't foresee the future. I don't know how my body is going to do or, or feel at certain times. That's obviously the key, is trying to stay healthy, to feel good, to be healthy and to be able to practice and, uh, and put in the hard yards. If you can't do that, then it's going to be very tricky and very hard. Also, I don't know where... Uh, the shoulder will be in a few months from now. It needs to still get stronger, still needs to get better to, to be able to, to compete at the level that I want to. Um, just to compete and, and play at a certain level is obviously not going to be good enough for me. I still want to feel like I'm, I'm getting better, I'm achieving things and uh, feeling like also that uh, in the practice uh, weeks and months uh, to come that it's, it's, it's going uh, in the right direction. So we'll see. It definitely would be a goal of mine to, to try to play in 2016. You won a couple of matches during the grass court season during your comeback. Where is your game at at the moment? Yeah, I was uh, also very surprised about that and uh, obviously very pleased. That means uh, I did something right, uh, you know, all the months before that, trying to prepare myself well. I felt like the grass court season was the right time to start because you can uh, get rewarded more for, for going for your shots or playing a little bit of surf and volley. And, um, you know, a lot of people do not necessarily like to play on grass too much. Um, so I'm really, really happy that I won a couple of matches, you know, I had a great run uh, in Wimbledon, you know, played a good match the second round, being back on, on court one. I mean, these are the reasons why you still try and, and keep, coming, uh, keep coming back for those moments. So um, who knows what, what else is going to be in store for me the, the, the weeks and months to come. But it's exciting, you know, it's a lot of ups and downs, but uh, I'm, I'm enjoying myself and uh, I just like to see uh, what else is going to be possible out there.